All right. The first thing, the first thing I want to do is talk about Mickey's birthday. What happened on Mickey's birthday? The reptilians had a rapport about Mickey Mouse and I had a water jug sitting up there, which I now regret. But it allowed me to uh, collect some evidence. So on this napkin here, you'll see uh, the USDA glues that come through like all the nasty processed foods and stuff like that. If you buy like processed, you eat a cheeseburger somewhere that's processed. A lot of it has this glue stuff in it instead of you like making it yourself with minimal amount of these elements. And then you see uh, some evidence of the glue that's pulled out of the ear. However, when I drank my jug of water that I had up there, the two day walkers that live up there looked at each other and they smiled. Now, this was on Mickey's birthday. You understand? This was yesterday. And I was wondering, why are they looking at each other smiling? And I drank it and I tasted it. And it had the same kind of funny aftertaste as the stuff that came off my root chakra and out of my ears. And I was like, what the fuck? So then I waited like an hour and all of it solidified inside of my head. And it took me a good three hours difference to pull myself to a place to where I was almost ready to break out, which tells me that they had a rapport with Mickey Mouse. They knew that it was Mickey Mouse's birthday before the radio thing even do it. Before I even had a clue, I was completely oblivious. I didn't know it was his birthday. So I was oblivious and, uh, and they knew. So they put this stuff in my water. And, uh, when I drank it, I drank half of it. And then I saw their faces and I was like, what the fuck did I just drink? So, uh, this is why I didn't break out yesterday, probably, because three hours difference would have been in the sun would have made all the difference. Probably I probably would have just ripped out because half of my head was cracked all the way down the back. And every time it popped, I was like, oh, and that motherfucker said, crack more. I was like, oh, God damn it. That motherfucker said, pow. Oh. Like, it's like, whoa, like it's jarring. And it's like, whoa, I'm going to another dimension or what? Like, it's like, holy shit. Like, it's intense. So uh, I went through that. Yesterday, I, I pushed myself to the limit and I and I pulled all that glue out of my head because I was working so hard. And then I ended up turpentining my eyes like maybe six or seven times. And uh, yeah, in a row, because I was just like, man, let's get this Mickey going. I was really intense about it. So my my job of filing and foreclosing on this e axis of evil, like the war plane says, is that part's done. What I've got to do is bring him forward. Because I want to put on a show for everybody, not only uh, endorsements, uh, you know, this is all going to fuel our Unicorn Alliance. Uh, endorsements, uh, movie deals, uh, the Meaning of Life movie, all this stuff is just going to be stuff that, you know, t the Tonight Show appearance, whatever. They're going to want Mickey to be everywhere. And that's going to be something that is going to be uh, a beacon of, uh, of surplus for of, of resources for all of us. And I'm going to share that with all of y'all. So um, to make it being said. Is that uh, they're they're going into Liu and the hive mind is exposing them. So she knew I wasn't going to break out yesterday. But what she knew is that I was going to push myself and I was going to be intuitive enough to come to the terms that they're just, they're going into a bad faith with their obligations. If they want to accuse us and they want to take the blame off of themselves and wipe blood off their master's hands, off bow hands and everything, they got to follow the orders, bro, because they blame at us. For the president doing some bullshit. That's what I'm trying to say is that uh, if they're going to blame us and they got these mandates, they got to follow the mandates so they can be in good faith. So they don't get uh, so they can't uh, uh, be in a position of uh, obligated recusal of themselves. You see what I mean? So they got to stand down now because of this. I got evidence out the ass. Uh, the weather they're not doing right. So this is a barrier here. They set up uh, in Alaska. They set up uh, these antennas. And either they're generating code or they get the code and they spread it in other places where there's like one antenna and one antenna. And a winner uh, is created from that just uh, uh, fanatically. It's just it's a fiction and it's created in these uh, designated areas. And if they make it go negative, I presume, then it becomes the opposite of it. Hot. When it's 75 degrees here, it's supposed to be 75 degrees everywhere. Like it's jacket weather, like you can wear this or not. Or shorts or not. Like you're just like, hey, this is fun, you know, and it's a paradise. And that's what we're supposed to be living. So uh, the trees love that. They're just like, oh, yeah, oh, it's wonderful. You know, they just it's tropical. It's uh, it's like, you know, it's nice. It's nice weather. So uh, they've already they, they put themselves in such bad positions trying to antagonize uh, their uh, their sense of faith and their obligations and all that, they're just antagonizing themselves. Now this is exposed on a major level because it's on the channel, see? So why did they do that? That's some dumb shit, right? Because now 
the shit's out. The cat's out the bag and they've gone in bad faith of their obligations. So now it's pretty much time for uh, for them to be shut down from up above. So, yeah. So what happened? A jurisdictional split. Uh, her son was upset. He gets in here. He does what he has to do to shut her out. He creates a jurisdiction. He puts a Statue of Liberty here that looks like the graffiti there. He puts a, a fiction here that says you're spinning in space and you're not you're not here. You're somewhere else. So it creates a, a split that says that, hey, we're not a part of her uh, her anymore. And uh, as a result of the rules, uh, it's, it creates a jurisdictional split. So what we did is the people that live in the jurisdiction establish that they come alive amongst the dead uh, presumptions of the structure of it. And then we are able to follow these mandates and come back and say, hey, we are alive. We need this again. We need this to be out here. So that's pretty much what we did. And uh, that's what she was waiting for. That's why when I first met her, she wanted me to file something on the kids in jail. And, uh, and I realized that in jail, there is nothing but humans in there. Because she was like, you hear them babies crying today, mama. And now I see there's a shitload of humans in jail. <laughs> that's like half the dude. That's got to be like where the where our population is gone. They're sitting in jail while these uh, these daywalkers feed off the trust. That's what's happening. That's fucked up. So uh, they just exposed them on another level. So now I've got that poison water over there. I've got a half truth and a half truth that makes a whole truth, man. And now it's time for me to lean this sucker over here. Here in this area, in the city and the water company. The water company, if y'all want to refresh our memory, they roll up into the yard looking for a light that's on the other side of the road, way in out of this yard. I'm like, why are y'all in here? Why are y'all in this yard? It's a trespass sign. Who told you you can you can pass it? The owner, which is the mother of the daywalker, is the one that obviously uh gave them uh, an implied right of access <laughs> which busts them out on the hive mind. They ain't gonna write no security note that says please poison my water. Cause then you're busted. So uh, if you presume yourself the owner and you got a private conversation telepathically, then, hey, then you know that somebody is trying to do something. So I got them busted two times and uh, I'm about to lean this sucker. They ain't going to be able to stop me now. Uh, and uh, and they're not going to be able to, to uh, butter my biscuits because the first time when I was starting to lean it, they all come the next day. Hey, we want you to paint a mural. Hey, we want you to do all this stuff that's cool now. Hey, we're blowing smoke up your ass. We don't want you to do anything. We just want you to forget about taking this land. They didn't ask me. They didn't get me to paint no mural or nothing. So I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, yeah, they're just trying to trying to blow smoke. But uh, now that I got this and I got the evidence that proves that. That the day walker up the hill has government chemicals and there was a government chemical coming out of the thing exposes the hive mind government, y'all. On epic levels, bro. They are not supposed to get exposed like this. It's huge. That's why I didn't break out yesterday, because I've got more ammo for the divine feminine and it's recorded. So y'all can't even say that this isn't the same shit that y'all pulling out y'all ears right now. See what I'm saying? Like they're busted. They don't have any more good faith. Uh, instead of them fixing the weather and making it nice, what they're doing is this over retarded shit. Like, oh, we got how many more days left? <laughs> hey, Beavis, <laughs> 70 degrees, <laughs> 30 degrees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what they're doing instead of being professionals. So uh, I make no except of that. Turn it 75 degrees and follow the orders and show that you have good faith. Because you want our trust to fuel your stuff in your courts, in your White House, in your Vatican, right? Because that's where they got the gold ceilings from. They get it from us. They're just thieves. They don't have nothing. They're bankrupt. They always were. So, and that's what the maker puts them in that position. And they twist it around and paint different pictures. They were always underneath her foot from the beginning. They just figured out a way to, to masquerade it so we don't know our rights. And that's it. There, we are always in control of them. She always loved us. And it's good. That's a good feeling to know that. It just needs to be exposed. So uh, I'm going to draw a picture of a vision I had with some motherships. It looked totally badass. I'm going to draw it because it, I, I have to. It just looks so cool with her flying through the air. Giant is a motherfucker. Big as, big as hell. Flowing through the sky with uh, cloaks blowing and shit. With her fingers like this. With a stoic face. Headed towards the White House with motherships that are big like this, like Independence Day flying around her. Bruh, I had that vision. I am not bullshitting. She looked like like she had black and red on and she was like headed towards the White House. I was like, oh, shit. Y'all remember Independence Day showed you what happened when a mothership gets over the White House. So I'm just showing you 
They say it's a UFO because they're creating a jurisdictional split, an unidentified flying object that does not fit within the realm. And then they get people to hate it with fake ass movies like Fire in the Sky. Uh, you're in a fictional corporation, so they say it's based on a true story. So it's just a story, but it's not true because it's just fiction. And the Hyperboreans don't hurt people. You understand? So they're just lying about everything. Look at this doodle looking this way. That shit is crazy. Cheekbone. Look at that. It's incredible. There's another one. That's all I'm seeing is faces now. As of yesterday, I am in a sea of them. They are literally on top of each other everywhere. And I'm just looking around and it's just a bunch of faces. So... It's eventually going to come out. And when it does, hey, maybe I should just uh, work hard, but just uh, let it happen and not worry about the birthday. The birthday exposed a lot of their intentions. It exposed a lot of uh, how far I could push myself. It's getting us closer to the goal. Because they did this, they are now exposing their true nature of themselves. And now they are screwed. See what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers really finna be sick. As soon as I come out with this and, and confront her, she probably already knows because the, the hive mind just watches. So she already knows. When I made videos about them when they were in the garden, they knew. And then they go and take the plates off the bus. Uh, uh, months later, they're trying to figure out ways to figure out how they can try to prove that they're owners of the bus. They took the plates off. You see, they just yoked themselves. Uh, when they want to make things hard, they just make it hard for themselves. Not for me. So that's what's going on. This motherfucker's getting yoked. Motherfucker's hair falling out, teeth falling out. Niggas got cancer and shit. Like, the karmic dead is real. These people are falling apart, man. Trying to stop me. It's stupid. They're looking at the bogey flying. The aircraft carriers on the water. Big as a motherfucker. Letting bogeys off. Donald, boom. Mickey, boom. Goofy, whoever. Light bodies coming out. And they're looking at these bogeys, but they're not looking at this beam. They need to be like, shit, what are we going to do? Because the aircraft carriers, see what I mean? That's logic. Like, you look, don't look at the bogey. Damn, you're being, you're distracting yourself. So, uh, yeah, when they come messing with the bogey, they they got the aircraft carriers duly noted. And now she's like, shit, these motherfuckers in lieu of, of, of orders. Hmm. So, technically, she could literally, with this evidence right here, she can go and form thir 330 million omnipresent versions of herself. And and literally visit each one of them and, and turn them into dust. And within an hour, this whole population would be cleansed. Literally, she could do that because of this jurisdictional binding. So, uh, you know, that would be great to see. <laughs> so uh, onward we go. I think in an all uh, legitimacy of the whole thing, uh, if they didn't do that, you know, depends on which one she wants to pick, you know, uh, whether it's now or uh another um what is it eight days nine days left i think nine or ten days or it was 11 days yesterday so uh yeah so it it was delivered as of tuesday after october 26 i'm gonna look that up and that, that's where the 30 days i think started that's when everybody had their packages so uh yeah oh yeah and it's considered filed uh according to technical terms on October 26th. See what I mean? Because the technicality is the clerks are all everywhere. And if you file with a clerk, like rent, if your rent's late and you file it Friday, then it's considered uh, filed Friday and Tuesday you don't get a late fee. You feel me? So that's how that works. It's all the same. So, oh, I'll talk about something else. A unicorn made a contribution and uh, I'm going to tell you what happened to him. Something happened that night. Uh, when they made a contribution, it was a pretty big one, too. So we're going to get into that in the next episode of Grim Nasty TV. Stay tuned for more as we go over to the fog and into the maker. As we say, because when you get awake, you stay awake. <laughs>